What is up guys, PHD here and today we've got an episode of FIFA Monopoly the Squad Builder Edition. As we go into it, it would be great guys if we can try and smash 250 likes on this video, that would be amazing. If we can, we'll try and get another episode out for you on Tuesday, so go ham on that like button. Um, it would also be great if you go and check out onefifa.com, their links are in the description below. You can use Beach5 for 5% off any coin purchases and you can also check the prices in the description as well, so go and check them. The first thing we land on is a chance box, which means we can go and check any player of my choice. This is going to be, because it's obviously the opening episode, it's going to be squad builders throughout and it's going to be a Colombian side this week. Let me know some things, um, I'm going to ask questions throughout on this squad. Uh, the first player is going to be the goalkeeper, it's of course in form of Spina. I just chose him, 29k. Decent uh, little player, seven games played with him and he was okay. Then I want to know guys, what can I put on the left side of this Monopoly board to fill it up? I could put something like a face cam, I could try and put rules or something down. Let me know what you want on the left hand side of this. Um, but yeah, we land on a left. Uh, we landed on the purple house, which means we can add in a bronze left back. This is Marin. We add in 66 pace on him, 67 shot. A decent little player, uh, but not great defensively. A bit frustrating to be honest with you. Then we land a double four, which means I go and land on another chance box. This game, this board game, is full of chances um, when we play this one. And from there, you know, again, any player of my choice, we can go to CDM and I go and get Guarin. Um, he was 3,000 coins, managed to grab me just the one goal when I was using him. And that was from a set piece. It was just a, one of these free kicks where you just pass it out and can smack it as hard as you can. And they just aren't going to stop it because it's just way too powerful. But then we get a double four and we can move straight on to yet another community chess box. And guys, I would also want to know, when I land on these community chess box, do you guys want to do it so... At the end of each episode, you can tell me a player rating um, that you guys want me to pick for uh, each episode's few, uh, future uh, random boxes. So, say, at the end of this episode, you all voted for, I don't know, a 65-69 for any future random chests. Then that was what I would do for the next episode and do it like that. So let me know for there. Um, we go and land on a red then, which is a 70-74 rated player. So we go and pick up our centre back, and it is a Perea, Perea. I don't know how to say his name properly, but he's um, he's a decent little player. 84 pace, 75 defending, 76 heading. Didn't grab me any goals, but he's very, very strong defensively, and he's definitely recommendable for his price. Then we land on another chess box. I'm getting sick of saying these chess boxes. And that means I could go and land on yet another one. We've got to move back three spaces. And by moving back three spaces, that means we go and land on yet another chest uh, or a chance box, whatever they are. And I go and can again go and pick any player of my choice. So for this reason I went and picked up Ibarbo, you can't build a Colombian team without having Ibarbo and it's just not right. 37 games played with him, 10 goals scored and 13 assists with him in my club. He scores quite a couple a couple of okay goals, that was not too bad from uh, quite far out. And again another one outside the box, powerful keeper couldn't stop that one. Uh, we can move on to then the next roll of the dice and that's going to be moving us straight from this community chess spot all the way to a dark blue which is an 85 to 99 rated card and that means we go and pick up, uh, you, go, you can probably guess who we're going to go and get from here, you know it's, it's of course going to be Falcao, an amazing player, very very high rated overall, 90 rated, incredibly high, 86 shots, 89 heading, 78 pace. Grabbed me 8 goals in 7 games for him, he's a very very good player and definitely recommend you know, I was surprised by him, I've used him in the past and he hasn't been great, but this time he was very very good, so so many different types of goals, headers, every single one seems to be on target, working the keeper or going in, as well as just general power shots, finesses, everything just would just go in. Then we do have the next player that we're going to go and grab and it's going to be again another striker when we land on our final decision here we go and land on a bronze and this is a bit of a herp and derp I know it says there is a 58 rated player on a 40 to 45 rated spot that'll be fixed for any future episodes just a herp and derp from me but anyway we go and slot him in there he's 500 coins for me he managed to grab me 3 goals in uh, 7 games he's at 72 dribbling and 86 pace and then 50 shot his shot was absolutely terrible it was so frustrating to use him with and you know I just I didn't know what to make of him in the end. He scored a couple of headers here and there, a couple of sh powerful shots, but definitely not recommendable if you're going to go and pick someone up like him. From there, you know, we can move on to another purple, and that is going to be our right back we go and pick up. He was about, well, he wasn't really that expensive actually, he was just a couple of hundred coins. Um, Vallejo, the players that we're going to insert to the right back, 600 coins, 50 pace, 67 defending, and 60 heading for him, 65 passing there as well. And then we can move on, we've got two rolls of the dice left, this one being 
that we go and land on a chance box. Of course, we're going to land on another one of them. And again, you know, we get another player of my choice. It will be mixed up for future episodes, guys. Don't you worry about that. But we can go and add in our centre-back now. He was an absolutely terrible choice from me. I'm not sure what I was thinking of. Yepes is 34 pace, 81 defending and 79 heading. Terrible centre-back. Never, ever go and buy him if you ever have the chance. Never. Just avoid him. And then finally, another Herpeder for me. It says 80 to 84 rated and I go and get a stupid 85 rated player. Um, my bad, it will be fixed for future episodes guys, but I really needed to get a video out for you all today. Um, so this is what I was able to come up with. And you know, he scores just the penalty, nothing special. But that is it for this squad builder guys, do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, remember to drop a like and subscribe to me if you aren't already. Try and hit 250 likes for another episode on Tuesday, and I'll catch you on the next video guys, bye bye. Whistle baby! Like